Hello children, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope all of you are fit and fine. Today again, I'm back here to take your mental maths class. And today we'll be discussing exercise 36, 37 and 38. Okay, I'm going to discuss and you will do it at home. And the next day I'm going to send the answers. You're going to check it out. Okay, so let's start. See, exercise 36, fill in the blank boxes, A. Take away 16 from 106. Take away 16 from 106. Very easy, all of you know. That means from 106, you have to subtract 16. Whatever you get, that will be your answer. Okay, from 106, you will have to subtract 16. Whatever you will get, that will be your answer. Next, 225 into 4. Simple multiplication. Whatever you will get, that will be your answer. Next, 72 minus 6 dozens. Now children, all of you know 1 dozen means 12. Therefore, 6 dozens means 6 into 12. 12 6 are, I will not say all of you know the tables. You will first get it. 12 multiplied 6, whatever it is. Then you will subtract 72 minus whatever you get. You subtract and then write the answer. Next, place value of 1 in 5, 1, 2, 4. 5124 is dash. You have to write the place value. You have done it in class 2 also. I am not going to say it. You will have to do it on your own. How many sets of 12 are there in 108? How many sets of 12 are there in 108? That means you will have to divide. 108 divided by 12. You have learned division by now. You can do it by your on your own. You will do it. 108 divided by 12. If you know the tables, it's very easy. Next, take 7 nines from 800. That means 800 minus 7 nines. 7 nines means 7 into 9. 7 into 9, whatever it is, you find it out and then from 800 you subtract it. Next, multiply 4 times 4 by 5. Multiply 4 times 4. 4 times 4. 4 fours are how much you get and then multiply it by 5. Next, rupees 7.50 minus rupees 2.75. Simple subtraction. Very easy. Next, 609 is 58 tenths and dash. 58 tenths means 580. And how many left? That means from 609 you subtract 580. Whatever you get, that will be your answer. Next, put greater than or less than sign. Very easy. I'll not say you'll do it on your own. 9 into 12 is greater or 11 tenths is greater. 11 tenths means 110. You find it out and put the correct sign. I hope I'm clear to all of you. Next, let's go to the next, next exercise. Exercise 37a. Very easy, simple subtraction. Rupees 10 minus rupees 2.97. Rupees 10 minus rupees 2.97. Next, 14 into 5 equal dash tens. 14 into 5 equal dash tens. First find out 14 into 5, whatever you get, then you have to write dash tens. The difference between 1001 and 900 is dash. The difference between 1001 and 900 is dash. Simple subtraction. How many nines are there in 36? How many 9's are there in 36? 36 divided by 9. Whatever you get, that will be your answer. Next, again, you have to put the correct sign. 5 into 13 is greater or 16 into 4 is greater. Whichever is greater, you put the correct sign. 18 tricycles have dash wheels. 18 tricycles have dash wheels. 18 tricycles means tricycles have three wheels. So one tricycle has three wheels. So 18 tricycles will have 18 into three wheels. You multiply and see or if you know the tables very good, you write your answer. Next, 
49,237 paise equal rupees dash. Paise to rupees. From, I told you, 1 rupee equal 100 paise. So from rupee to paise, you multiply by 100. And from paise to rupees, you divide by 100. You divide by 100 and see whatever you get the answer. Okay. Two dozens means two into twelve. Three dozens means three into twelve. See whatever you get, that will be your answer. Add it and see. Eight into nine, you multiply and keep it one side. Minus six into five, you multiply and keep it and then you subtract both and write the answer. Add nine sets of six. Nine six are whatever you get and then you add it to thirty-four and then write your answer. I hope I am clear to all of you. Let's go to the next exercise. Exercise 38. First let's do the bracket. 17 minus 9. Whatever you get and then you multiply by 8. First you will subtract 17 minus 9. Whatever you get then multiply by 8. Next. How many 3's are there in 33? Simple 33 divided by 3. Nothing else. 33 divided by 3. Nothing else. How many pairs will 26 shoes make? How many pairs will 20 shoes, 26 shoes make? Read the question properly. 26 shoes are there. How many pairs will they make? Total there are 26 shoes. That means pairs how many? You will have to divide by 2. If you divide by 2, you will get how much? 13. That means 13 pairs. 13 twos are 26. So 13 pairs will make 26 shoes. Next, 70 plus 70 minus 5 into 9. First, you have to do the work with inside the bracket. 5 into 9, whatever you get, you keep it. Then you first add 70 plus 70 and then you subtract. Next, simple multiplication. First, you multiply 3 into 9, whatever you get and then you put 3 zeros at the end. Next, 1100 plus dash equal 3000. You subtract from 3000 minus 1100. 13 sets of 3. That means 13 into 3 plus 11. Then you add 11. And then you write the answer. 901 plus 10 tens make dash. 901 plus 10 tens means 100. 901 plus 100 equal dash. Simple addition and then write the answer. 3000 plus 12 tens plus 6 ones equal dash. 3000 plus 12 tens plus 6 ones equal dash. You write your answer. Next, first multiply 16 into 2, then multiply 17 into 0, and then subtract. Then subtract. I hope the exercise, the three exercises are clear to all of you. Right. So I hope children I am clear to all of you. If not, please feel free to ask me. Okay, if you haven't understood the Psalms, please feel free to ask me and please do the Psalms on your own. I request all of you to do the Psalms on your own. Don't take the help of others. Please do it on your own. If you can't, please get it clarified by me. Don't ask anyone else. Okay? I'm always there to help you out. So no more for today. We are going to meet in the next class again. Until then, smile more and worry less. Thank you.